Now to the right there, that road is leading out of Victoria Gate, and that little structure is the gatekeeper's house. What you see here is the gatekeeper's back garden, which is well hidden by these trees and bushes. What lies in it is quite a curious thing. It is a small pet cemetery that is well hidden and not open to the general public. Now while it is marked on signs, uh, so it's not lost to history, it's not something you can go and uh, just wander into and take a look at. Now this pet cemetery came into existence uh, actually by accident. It wasn't planned and it's certainly something the Park Service would want. But in 1881, a small Maltese terrier named Cherry died of old age. Uh, he belonged to a Mr. and Mrs. Barnett and they lived right behind uh, where we are now. They would visit Hyde Park all the time and walk the dog there. In a, and uh, Mrs. Barnett wanted the dog buried in a place he loved. So he, she approached the gatekeeper and got permission to bury the dog in his backyard, uh, which is, well, I guess, an unusual request, but he granted it. And uh, that was the first uh, pet that was laid to rest here. A little bit later, um, uh, the, the idea must have caught on. The Duke of Cambridge, his dog got run over by a carriage, so he had his dog buried here. And then after that, rich folks uh, that could afford buying a small tombstone uh, would have their dogs buried behind the gatekeeper's house. So now you have 300 uh, small gravestones for um, mostly dogs. There's one cat, three monkeys, and some birds also buried here. Uh, but they're quite touching little tombstones. Now this is Bayswater Road that you're looking at now. Uh, this is about the only way you can get a good glimpse of it. And uh, the Barnett's lived right over there. In that, that area right there. But uh, this is looking towards Lancaster Gate tube station in this direction. So if you ride down that way, you can get on uh, Lancaster Gate, walk up. And this is a peek through the railing. And you can see that uh, the grass needs to be mowed. I'll, I'll edit in a better picture when I get back to the house. But um, you can see just barely through there. But there's 300 tiny little gravestones which date all the way to 1903 when they put a stop to uh, pets being buried there. The writer George Orwell uh, described the cemetery as perhaps the most horrible spectacle in Britain. And I think it's kind of neat. And uh, well, we're stopping by to check out. Hopefully they'll cut the grass fairly soon.